Hi everyone, I'm here today to teach you about Screencastify. This is a program that is so easy to use and free and allows you to record your screen, include your video if you prefer, and walk students through different activities and different topics that you're teaching. So the first thing you wanna do is just search Screencastify through Google. You are gonna to wanna to use Google Chrome. So if you use a different internet browser, you do need Google Chrome. And you can see that it says right here, add to Chrome. This adds it as a free extension, which will pop up on the top right of your Google Chrome. You're gonna to wanna to add the extension. It's safe, it's verified, no problem at all, to your Google. It takes very quick amount of time to install it, and then you're having it set. You're gonna see that it pops up on the top right where all of your extensions are. And when you want to record something, you're just going to tap on it. The first time you use this, you're gonna sign in. Now you're able to sign in with Google Drive. Now since you have an educational account, your Google Drive has unlimited storage. So you wanna sign in with that so that your videos don't fill up space in your personal accounts. It's also easy to save the videos right to your Google Drive and this will make it a lot easier to upload it to um, Google Classroom or any projects that you're working on. You can embed your video right into a Google Slideshow. So I suggest signing right in with Google Drive. You're going to wanna set permissions, allow, the microphone and all of that, it might pop up for you to allow. And then you are ready to go. All right. So once you're ready to go, you'll see that up on the top, it has a little button here for Screencastify. You're going to click on that and then here are your options. Now for the free account, they let you do five minutes per video, but you can always record more than one video and combine them or just make a lot of short videos that you add into your assignments. Now you can choose if you want to just record one specific screen, one specific browser, your whole desktop, or if you're just recording yourself. Now, if you don't feel comfortable showing your camera at all, you always have that option to either embed it or not and not show your face. Microphone, also you can have it or not if you don't wanna be talking, if you just wanna record your screen without voice. And then you have some more options. You can have a countdown so that when you record, it kind of beeps to let you know it's going to start. There's drawing tools if you wanna circle or highlight something on your screen. Um, you can also record the audio if there's something you wanna play while you're recording and if you want to show your webcam preview or not. So it's as simple as deciding all of these options and figuring out what exactly you're recording this video for. And um, if you need to change the size or anything, you can do that under settings. And then over here, you can check which account it's under and you can also see all of your recordings through that. Once you're ready to go, all you hit is record. It's gonna tell you if you have more than one window open or you use two monitors, which exact screen you wanna record. Or if you're doing the tab version, you're gonna be able to select just one tab that you wanna record. And you can hear that it's telling me I'm starting to record. And now it is recording. Once you're done, you hit stop. And it's actually going to bring up it, your video right here. You're going to see that you can rename your video. To record. And you can decide how you wanna share it. So if this is a video that you wanna to download to your computer, you can download it for free. You can then put in another video editing program. Or if it's something you wanna share directly to Classroom, you have these options right here. If you have a YouTube channel or you wanna email it to someone, it's so easy to do. You can just click right here and you can also even copy the shareable link. 
So if you want to walk your students through an activity or you want to explain something better, again, you don't need to use your video camera. You can just have your voice over the screen and it's very easy to then upload right into Google Classroom. You're able to um, add that in and you're able to publish it anywhere you need to go. So let me show you an example of how you can add it into your Google Classroom. If I wanted to create a video here, I can go right over to Google Drive in my classroom, find my video. It's going to make a folder and I can upload that video right to Google Classroom as an announcement or as classwork. And your students will be able to see right away. Or you'll be able to just hit the screen cache share to classroom just make sure you're logged on with your educational site from an email account or it will not work i hope this was helpful for you as you move into some more digital learning good luck let me know if you have any questions i'm happy to help